what's going on guys it's me again and today we are viewing go off on the anchor pillar so so these guys came in the mail at the same time or at the same day well just different times of the day so i thought i should do a double review so yeah the first let's take a look at the tag on these figures so it's gonna be pretty pretty simple this review it's gonna be pretty simple it's gonna be like only like it's gonna be like a quick review. So first, let's take a look at the tag of Golathan. Since I like Golathan the more, so it says Ultra Monster Series just here. Ultraman. Then it says Golathan down here. No, no, 130. Then some other good stuff which I know what it really means. Probably like the scale and stuff. And inside here, not really. Kind of, yeah. So actually, for Gabilla's tag, I actually cut it off. Cut the back part off. I don't know why. I just did it. Well then, yeah. So it says Ultra Monster Series just here. But actually, I think the gold one has like the Ultraman logo. Well then, this one doesn't really, doesn't really have that. Which is strange. It's very really strange. Well, whatever. Is this is too high right there. Yeah. So have Gabilla here, pretty nice. Number eighty-five. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry for that. So, gonna be pretty basic review. So first, let's take a look at Gullo Thunder. Since I like Gullo Thunder more, Gabilla is my least favorite. So Gullo Thunder is really nice. I mean, he has like a way like happen like the full gold and the full shield because the shield band I could easily cut in and cut in half. Then for the gauntlet, I'm not really sure. <laughs> Looks a bit hard. And uh, some other side, yeah. So then, actually, they actually didn't paint like the full shoulder pad thing. Actually, it's cut in half! Come on, Bandai, come on! When it comes in half, it still looks nice. There's still some detail at the back. There's not much, there's not as much detail as the front. Well, it just kind of looks natural. Yeah. Uh, I know that Golden has some strange indentations in his hands. Anyway, now it's time to look at the articulation on this figure. Uh, there's no articulation. I'm kidding, there is. First, he has some arm rotation. His arms turn. His arms turn all the way. Three turn all the way. Three sixty degrees. Same for the other arm. Then the torso. Uh, the torso seems hard. I think you might need to put a little bit of force in the torso to actually get it to move. Well, it does move if you look. Well, wow, dude. So, yeah, it does rotate. Surely it does rotate. It has some rotation. So, yeah. Then, here's some holes on which is pretty nice. Really nice paint job on this figure so far. The paint job's really nice. I mean, the paint job's really nice. He has like some radiation here. Then like indentations in the hand, like so you can like fire out something. Actually, Goblin and the holds like a giant rock thing. So maybe they made a hole there just so it could hold the rock. Well, I'm not sure. Actually, I don't really want to be green. Like pick out all of the bad stuff. Well. If they just paint like the full lit shoulder pad, he'd be like, okay, perfect. Yeah, it's like a duck butt, then <laughs> like a duck bill, so it's like, it's kind of like a duck thing. I like some duck influence going on. Yeah, he has, he has some armor on him, pretty nice. He has radiation, then he has like, he's radioactive. He has like a little beak. And like, his face has a really messy paint job. Mm, I mean, look at that ugly, I mean, look at that ugly stupid face, look how ugly it is. Anyway, he's still pretty nice. He's pretty, pretty nice. Yeah, I like his belly button. That's kind of cute. <laughs> so, uh, all I can say is that, yeah, he's kind of cool. The claws are not painted. Well, I don't really mind. Yeah. The butt. <coughs> I like it. Yeah. I like some spikes going up here. Then he has some dots on his legs, which is, which is weird. Pretty weird. Well, they're actually kind of cool at the same time, I mean. I mean, I feel like 
Well, it says that this is where the figure downfalls, apparently. This is where it starts to get. This is where... This is where the figure starts to suck. I mean, actually, I feel like the legs are supposed to be fatter. The legs are surely supposed to be fatter. I'm 100%, I'm 100% sure that the legs are supposed to be fatter. Yeah, the legs are supposed to be fatter. Surely. The legs are surely supposed to be fatter. I don't mind. Yeah, not much dealing at the back. This guy no life scan. I mean, life sign. I don't mind. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of cool. Next is Gabilla. Unfortunately, my Gabilla, he has a scratch of the eye paint on him. You see that scratch there? I feel like, I think Band accidentally got some of, like, this eye paint on Gabil, on Gabil's, like, thingy there. Well then, yeah. I don't really mind. It's too nice. It sounds like a nice drill. What you know, the drill is a bit scratched. I don't know why. So, yeah. Articulation is only two parts, which are the arms. The arms rotate all the way around, all the way 360. Gabriel is my least favorite because he's not accurate. I mean, actually, these like little dots here—they're supposed to be painted. But I didn't paint them. Seriously, like I feel like this part here looks spray painted. I don't know. No, he's still kind of cool. Yeah, I like the jewels. He's pretty ugly. His mouth is molded closed again. For these figures, why are their mouths always molded closed? I don't know why. But I just mold them closed, so you can't really open the mouth, except for SH figure arts, you can open them and close the mouth. And then for Gabilla, it's pretty boring. Kind of sucks. Well, he's still nice. The legs are not painted. Which, yeah, this, this figure is kind of of a... This figure's a figure here. Yeah. What? I just dropped the camera. Uh, I just dropped the camera. I just dropped the camera. Seriously. Anyway, so that's nice. The drill is nice. I feel like the bill is some sort of like rat or something like that. So, well, well, all I can say is that. The color of him is a skunk, and the shape seems like Ultra Monster Skunk, but it actually doesn't sway, which... So he's not a skunk, he's like some sort of weird... thing. Some blue eyes. He's weird, he's strange, he's like ugly little... ugly little stupid thing. Well, he's kind of cool. He has no waist rotation or the head rotation. Yeah, he has none of that. But I that he's pretty, pretty... Stupid, basic. So yeah, he's kind of cool. His tail seems like I don't know. Anyway, his mouth is molded closed. His lips are painted. I mean, I dropped the camera again. Why are we always dropping the camera? Anyway, he's so kind of cool. He has like some good texture and stuff. So, so yeah, kind of cool of this Gabilla dude. He's also he's he's so ugly. I mean, all I can say is that this figure he's so ugly. He's like the weirdest thing I've ever seen. No, way that weird. Go find out weird. Go find out some of the Apparently, so 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 pretty nice. Yeah, I like them. So, I do recommend buying these figures, well, actually, actually, for this Gabilla figure, I had it for a very long time, I did, like, so many reviews on him, but I just didn't post them on YouTube, apparently, so here's where I post the bloody Gabilla on YouTube, Go Thunder, actually, these two figures came in the mail at the same time, well, then I had them for a very long time, apparently. So that's why they kind of scratched. Go off, I'm not that scratched. Well, it could be like, ha I had for like a very long time these two figures. Well, then after you did so many reviews on them, well, I actually never posted them. So yeah, so finally I posted the review. So, uh, bye. And please like and subscribe and comment to this video. Or, you know, you probably know what's going to happen.